Hi, this is Nuke the News Media here coming at you. I have some, uh, it's, you know, it just doesn't get any, it doesn't get any better. I mean, my gosh. Uh, we're, we're a biggest threat as Al-Qaeda, according to uh, House Judiciary uh, Committee is giving a... Uh, an overview with the FBI director and uh, li listen to this listen to this this is wow listen to this and cyber criminals and at the same time we face a wide range of criminal threats from white collar crime to child predators just as our national security and criminal threats constantly evolve, so too must the FBI counter uh, these threats even during time, a time of constrained budgets. Today I would like to highlight several of the FBI's highest priority national security and criminal threats. As illustrated by the recent attacks in Boston, the terrorist threat against the United States remains our top priority. As exhibited by many of our arrests over the past year, we face a continuing threat from homegrown violent extremists. These individuals present unique challenges because they do not share a typical profile. Their experiences and motives are often distinct, which makes them difficult to identify and difficult to stop. At the same time, foreign terrorists still seem to strike us at home and abroad. Terrorists today operate more places and against a wider array of targets than they did a decade ago. Okay, you heard him. He put homegrown terrorists before Al-Qaeda and Islamic fundamentalists. You know what that means. You and I know what that means. Okay, this guy's been put in there on September, um, I think September, um, the 14th, 2001. Obama kept him in. They all kept him in, kept him in, kept him in. This guy's been as long as Jad Gore Hoover's been in there. Uh, he also talks, goes on to talk about, go on uh, C-SPAN 3 and check it out. This is what it's, where it's from, C-SPAN 3. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Homegrown terrorists are a major threat well I haven't seen a whole lot around they've all been supposedly uh, jihadists Islamic um, and basically the FBI their own self so <laughs> and then, you know this is just this is insane. This is insane that these people don't drum him out right now. But you know what it means. You know what it means when he puts homegrown terrorists before Al-Qaeda and Islamic jihadists and threats from overseas. That means we're going to have major continued problems and that's why they got all this spy stuff and everything else you know going on that's why they're watching everybody and and got everybody low down on everyone and everything they know everything we do and say you know it's funny that I can go out into my living room and I be quiet in the morning but once I start talking or doing something loud, the phone rings every single time. Once I make a phone call after that, the phone starts ringing every single time. I might be crazy. <laughs> Who knows? But I might be a realist, too. Get prepared, people. Never surrender your guns. If they come to take your guns, defend yourself. Obama already said that if if uh, 
we've got a problem with them, then he's got a problem with us. And that was a direct threat to us. And he already said, I got one word for you. Drone strikes. And laughed about it. And he was being serious, too. Anyways, this is Nuke the News Media 1. Coming at you. Check us out on Facebook. Subscribe, share, get this message out. Um, you know, this guy right here, right here, he's been in way too long. And he, he needs to go. He needs to go. Nuke the News Media, signing off.